Welcome to Science Excel, where our motto is to enhance the learning curve. In today's tutorial, let's understand the concept of xylem and phloem. I'm sure we all know that in animals, nutrients are circulated in the body using the bloodstream. Ever wondered how transportation of substances like water, minerals and food takes place in plants? Let's find out. In plants, a network of tissues and fibers called the vascular system carries out this task. The vascular system is a part of the transport system in plants which is comprised of two types of tissues, the xylem and the phloem. The xylem and the phloem are found in groups called vascular bundles. Now let us understand what are xylem tissues. Xylem transports water minerals and ions from the roots to the rest of the plant. This transportation occurs in only one way that is from the roots up to the leaves. A xylem vessel is like a long drain pipe which is made up of many hollow dead cells joined end to end forming a continuous tube running the whole length of the plant. The end walls of the cells have disappeared so a long open tube is formed. Xylem vessels run from the roots of the plant right up through the stem branching out into every leaf. Xylem vessels contain no cytoplasm or nuclei. Their walls are made up of cellulose and lignin, a woody material. This lignin is very strong which helps the xylem vessels to keep the plants upright. So what do you think the xylem tissue is made up of? The xylem tissue consists of four different types of elements. Tracheids, vessels, xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers. So what are the functions of xylem? Xylem helps to hold the plant upright and they provide a pathway for water to move from the roots all the way up to the very topmost leaves. Now let us understand what is phloem. Phloem is the living tissue that transports food made in the leaves which is in the form of sugar sucrose and amino acids to all the other parts of the plant. This transportation takes place up and down the plant. Phloem tubes are made up of many cells joined end to end. However, their end walls have not completely broken down. Instead, they form sieve tube elements. Now what is phloem made up of? Phloem is formed of various specialized cells called sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem fibers and phloem parenchyma cells. Now let's recap. Xylem conducts water and minerals only in one direction that is upwards. It is made up of dead cells with no end walls between the cells. It consists of tracheids, vessels, xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers. Whereas the phloem conducts sugar and amino acids in both the direction that is upward and downward direction. It is made up of living cells and the cells have end walls with perforations. Phloem is made up of sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem fibers and phloem parenchyma cells. This concludes our tutorial on xylem and phloem. We welcome questions and feedback in our comment section.